Hi, this is John DeVore. Welcome to the DeVore Fidelity YouTube channel. Today's going to be a little bit of a system tour and with, a, with actually with a focus on a particular aspect of the, of the chain. And it's an aspect that I went into a little bit a few videos ago when I talked about digitizing some analog tapes. These were tapes of my grandmother playing her compositions and I wanted to get them digitized primarily so that members of the family could hear them in some cases for the first time but at least for the first time in many decades and it was it was a pair of uh, reel to reel tapes and a pair of cassettes and so i wanted to use the a reel to reel tape to talk about one little channel here of the of the system here in monkey house monkey house is the office here at devore fidelity so the actual machine itself is a Techniques 1500. This is a machine that will play quarter track and half track tapes. And it has uh, all three speeds, uh, which was important for me uh, in making the decision of what, what deck to get. The playback heads have been replaced by JRF magnetics with much higher, higher quality uh, heads. And then I bypassed the playback electronics in the deck itself. So I have, there's an output on the back uh, that bypasses the electronics and with a loop that allows me to loop back in and use the built-in electronics if I want to use the deck as a standalone. But for most of the playback here at the Monkey House, uh, the electronics are the Tube Repro from Bottlehead. And this gives me the IEC and the NAB EQ standards. NAB is the standard that is most often used for 15 IPS tapes. This is a, a little outboard Dolby processor, which is completely taken out of the loop for this particular thing. There are some tapes that were pre-recorded in Dolby and I got it for that to play around with that. Not great sounding and the tapes themselves are not great sounding, but uh, I'm still gonna play around with it to see what I can get out of them. From the Tube Repro, it goes into my preamp, the EMT preamp. I don't connect the Tube Repro directly to the analog to digital converter in the system because I need a lot more gain. Uh, there just isn't enough output on this from this source to, to get a good enough level on my uh, analog to digital converter and I don't want to use the built-in preamps in that. So I, I route it through my EMT preamp, uh, which gives me enough gain. And then that in turn, analog out, goes to a Lynx Hilo. So it is uh, an analog to digital and a digital to analog converter, as well as a very flexible routing controller. It allows you to route any one of m quite a few inputs, digital and analog, to any one of quite a few outputs, digital and analog. It's got a fantastic touchscreen display and, and four different meter pages that are not only fun to watch and hypnotic, but some of which are extremely useful <laughs> for getting your, your levels right. That feeds the digitized signal via Thunderbolt to my Mac, and on the Mac I am running Audacity uh, to actually capture the files and do whatever editing on the files that I need to do. So I have the Hilo arranged so that the line in goes to the Thunderbolt out, and then the Thunderbolt out goes to the monitor out of the, of the links. And then that uh, in turn feeds my power amp, and I'm able to hear what I'm recording and then what I have recorded. The Hilo's routing capability really does save a lot of plugging and unplugging of gear. Before I got the Lynx, I was actually using uh, the best sounding A to D converter we ha I had on hand that, uh, that I had access to, uh, an older Sony CD recorder that had, the, had their proprietary super bit mapping processing. Uh, and it actually it made a pretty good sounding file um, but with a lot less flexibility and the big drawback was that you had to burn a disc every time you wanted to get something into the digital domain and then you would rip the cdr onto your computer which is a pain in the ass so i've been getting these files onto my computer i'm going to start playing with them and i'm going to do some 
comparisons and I'm kind of curious to know how these new files recorded in Audacity compare to those, uh, those ripped CDRs. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you soon at the next one. Bye.